Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox and get it full screen. So let's get started. Before actually we begin the installation process, you should have fulfilled the prerequisite as shown. You should already have the VirtualBox software installed on your PC, which you can download free from this link and install on your PC. For your information, VirtualBox is available for all the platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux. You can choose for your platform, download and install the software from here. Next, you should have the iOS image file of Windows 10, which you can download for a free trial from the Microsoft official website. Downloading Windows 10 from the official website is a bit tricky, so you can check out the video in this channel on how to download Windows 10 ISO image file from the official website. Once we have all these prerequisites, we can now begin the installation. Let's open the Oracle VM VirtualBox to create a new virtual machine for Windows 10. Just click on this new or go to machine menu and click on new. Let's give the virtual machine name as Windows 10. This is the location where the Windows 10 operating system files will be stored by default. You can change this location however by clicking on this drop down box and clicking on this other. But for now let's just uh, leave the default selection. Then the type is Microsoft Windows, version is Windows 10 64 bit, that's ok. Just click on next button. Here uh, we can see by default uh, 2048 of RAM is selected. Uh, let's increase it to uh, 4096 so that the installation process goes faster. Then click on next. Click on create a virtual hard disk now. Then click on create. You can just leave the default selected BDI or you can go for BHD or BMDK. If you select uh, BDI, it works just for the virtual box. But if you select uh, the other options like PSD and BMDK, you can just copy this virtual hard disk and run in any other virtualization software uh, such as uh, VMware and Hyper-V. Click on next. Leaving the dynamically allocated selected by default, click on next. Here we can see by default uh, 50 GB of hard disk is allocated to the virtual machine. You can increase or decrease by just dragging this pointer to the left or right. Let's set the virtual hard disk size to 30 GB. Then click on create. The virtual machine is created but it does not have the installation media. That means it does not have the ISO image file of Windows 10 pointed or any other bootable media like USB flash disk or CD-ROM. Since we are installing Windows 10 in a virtual machine or in a virtualized environment, we need to point the ISO image file. Here I already have the ISO image file of Windows 10. If you don't have this, you can just download it from the official website. About how to download the ISO image file of Windows 10 from Microsoft official website, please check out my channel. There I have a video for this. Or you can just click on this link on the top right. Right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. Click on storage, click on empty and click on this CD DVD icon. Click on choose or create a virtual optical disk. Click on add and click on this ISO image file. Click on open, click on choose and click on ok. Then start the virtual machine. Here you can select your language and click on next. Then click on install now. We are not going to use the windows product key now. So you can just skip this step. Click on I accept the license terms and click on next. Click on custom install windows only since we are performing clean installation. Just click on next or you can partition this virtual hard disk to other drives but for now. Just click on next. Ok, as you can see the installation is started and it takes some time and it restarts several times during the installation. 
I'm going to fast forward the video for now. It starts automatically in uh, the given seconds or you can just click on restart now button. Do not press anything here. If you press anything, then the installation begins again. Wait until the windows is getting ready. It takes some time. So uh, I just fast forward this step. Again, don't press anything. If you are asked to press any key, click on do this later and click on next. Click on use express settings and wait just a moment. Now uh, click on I own it and click on next. If you already have the Microsoft account, just type the email, phone or Skype ID on which you have created the Microsoft account ID. Or if you don't have, you can just click on no account. You can just click on this create one link or you can just skip this step. Let's skip this step. Here we need to create an account for this PC. Uh, this is a local user account. Uh, let's create a account in the account name as my name. Let's give the password. Let's create a strong password. Re-enter the password to confirm and give a hint to remember the password. Then click on next. Okay, now the Windows 10 is ready. Let's maximize it. You can just click on no here now. Let's see if uh, we can get the Windows 10 on full screen. Just click on view and click on full screen mode. It's switched on to the full screen mode, but still we can see Windows 10 is not on the full screen mode. So uh, let's work out for getting the Windows 10 to full screen mode. Just click on this view and again click on full screen mode. Click on this folder icon to open the file explorer. Click on this PC. Uh, we don't see here any tools to get the full screen. Go to devices menu and click on insert guest additions CD image. Now double click on this virtual box guest additions and click on this VBOX windows additions. Double click on it. Click on S, click on next, click on next, click on install. Again, click on install if you get this prompt. We need to reboot the Windows 10 to get it on full screen. So being reboot now selected, click on finish. It's restarting. Just click on here. Give the login password that we have created when we created a user and hit enter. Now go to view menu and click on full screen mode. Okay, as you can see, the Windows 10 is installed on the virtual box and we can get the full screen desktop of it. Okay, this is how we can install a Windows 10 in a virtual box that is uh, in a virtualized environment. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get more useful videos like this. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the other videos. Until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.